All right, this video is going to feature uh, templates and more specifically using the auto new uh, to name your, your macros when using templates. Um, and so we're going to start with just creating a basic macro here. So view, macro, record new macro, and um, the name for making a macro run automatically when using templates is called auto new. Uh, no spaces, just auto new. Uh, we do not need to bother with buttons or keyboards because it's going to run automatically. Now this is very important and an area that a lot of students get frustrated with is when you're storing your macro, of course we learned previously that you can store it in normal or document. Well normal is really nothing more than a template that's used whenever you start Word for the first time. It's a template, which means if you store it in normal and you call it auto new, it will run every time you open up Word. Uh, and that can get annoying after a while. So we're going to go down here and almost always we're going to change this to document, the current document. Um, there's almost never a time where you'll want a macro to run automatically when you start a new document. Uh, so we're going to leave it on, on document. And then from here I'm just going to do my normal uh, ask and ref to ask the title page information. So uh, what is the title of the report? We'll call that title. You just type something, quick part, field, ask, uh, what is your name, name, we'll call this, uh, or the next one will be, what is your school name, school, and then we'll use the, the date field, for the last one, so we're going to go ahead and down two inches, uh, center it, our quick parts, ref and we do title we'll feature that all uppercase we'll go down to here five inches and we will go to ref the name I'll use that first capital double space and we'll go to ref the school we'll do that title case or first capital and then go down to nine inches and we'll of course use that date field quick parts field date and September 22nd and hit OK now to use this macro we do not want anything already on the page so once you finish the macro remember you're actually going to stop recording and then delete everything because we want this to run from a blank document. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just test it. Just to, you know, I like to test things before you completely save everything. So we'll just call this A, B, C. And you can visually see that it, it does like it's supposed to. So we're going to delete everything again. And when we save it, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to save it to templates. It may already be there in my case. And we're going to use a macro. You have to use macro enabled in this case because it is a it does contain a macro, especially when it runs automatically. And I'll call this um, new title page. I already have one. And hit save. Now another option I'll go over, go over real quick was when you save it, this is not required, but if you create folders, um, let's say new folder, and I, I call this um, school reports. You can name it anything you want. Um, when you go to use it, file new, my templates you'll see these tabs up here so you can actually if you have a lot of templates you can organize them into your own groups uh, this is one I created earlier and I just made just actually that one I created earlier and that one I created just now and of course this is the new one I just created uh, a moment ago as well that I did not put in a folder so when you, when you hit OK you can ask again for the information A, B, C put the current date and of course the key here with templates as I mentioned before is when you save them it does not overwrite the template. It pro prompts you for a file name, and that's important. So we don't erase, you know, the template. We don't erase the, the other information. Uh, one other thing I want to show you with creating uh, templates, uh, another feature that helps you is uh, we're going to use this memo uh, as an example. And what I'm going to do first, before even, and you can do this before you even create your template, or I'm sorry, before you create your macro, is use this bookmark feature. Now we've used bookmarks in the past to store values that ask uh, requests or prompts for, but we're going to use them to actually record this location. And I'll show you why we do that. So I'm going to name this 2, 
Let me come in here, down here to from. Call this from. Go to subject. Subject. And I'm not going to do an entire macro, but you'll get the idea. Is uh, I'll go ahead and start recording one, and you can. Uh, whoops. And this could be an auto new as well. We'll worry about. Again, always change this to the current document. In order to make sure my cursor is in the right place, I could hope that the cursor is in the right and then as I tab through. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control G. And one of the options besides going to a particular page number is to go to a particular bookmark. So then when I go to uh, the bookmark, let's say 2, it automatically goes to that box always. It will go to the right box. And I can go to subject if I wanted to next. I can go to from. And that just is a way of when you're recording macros to make sure your cursor is going into the right box, especially when you have things like tables and things too, and even text boxes you can use this with. Um, so I didn't actually use a um, ask and ref to actually ask the questions, but you can use that ask and ref there to ask for the to, the from, the subject, and the date. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the macro there. Uh, so I just wanted to be aware of using bookmarks that are under insert can be very helpful in moving the cursor to the right location. Um, and the last thing I want to cover is there is actually one other type of special name when you record macros. Uh, so view, macro record, and that's auto open. Um, this one you would use it with the current document, but you're not going to save as a template. Um, it's called auto open because it will automatically run. Uh, let's just do a quick. Um, we'll just do a quick ask. Uh, what is your name? Something like that. Okay, so now the difference here is I named it auto open and not auto new, which allows you to save this as a regular file. So let's say you go back to your H drive. I don't think this computer has an H drive, but let's say just say you save it here, and I call this um, title page without uh, template, just for example. And the reason I did that is now. Well, I didn't save it as a macro free. Now when you do that and you hit open, although I may have just removed the macro from that. Okay, it's still ran. Uh, I didn't use auto new, I use auto open. This allows it to work with regular files as opposed to templates. So if there is for some reason the reason that you want to use a regular file and not a template, maybe you want to send someone a file as an email a document you just wanted to open up and immediately ask them questions or run some sort of macro, then you could um, name it auto open. So just to be clear, if I access it through the new and picking a template, name it auto new. If I want to go to open and access it that way, you need to use auto open. They do two different things um, based on their name. So just to kind of cover uh, in this file how to create templates, how to name them auto new, auto open, probably the most important thing is just remembering when you record your macro to put it in the right location and normally for all of these examples you're going to want to put it in the current file not under normal otherwise it will run a lot more than you expect it to and um, so how to create auto new auto open how to use bookmarks and then how to save them into the, the correct location and creating folders if you choose to under templates just to organize your templates.